How's it going everyone? Brosams here and today we're going to be taking a look on how to back up your installed PS4 games as packages to your USB drive or even your Android phone. This video is going to be two parts. Uh, the first part is how to back up your PS4 games to your Android phone as packages and the second part is going to be how to back them up to a USB drive. So let's start with the uh, first one, which is backing up games as packages to an Android phone. The first thing that you have to do is make sure that the phone and the PS4 are both connected to the same network. This will not work if they are both uh, on two different networks. So make sure that they are both connected to the same network. The next thing that you have to do uh, is run the jailbreak and make sure that you're running Gold Hand 2.2 uh, because it has a built-in FTP server and uh, you're not gonna have to use an app or uh, a payload to uh, enable FTP. So use Gold Hand 2.2. The next thing you have to do is install Orbis Toolbox and then launch it. We need this to see the game's ID, so make sure that you install it and then launch it and wait for a notification. There it is, Orbis Toolbox 2.0 loaded. Now go to the settings, go to Orbis Toolbox, scroll down to Orbis Toolbox settings and select Show Title ID Labels. Now go back to the main menu and you can see that the game's IDs have appeared uh, on the top left corner of the uh, icons. Now we need to go back to the settings, go to Gold Hand and enable FTP server. Now you can see your IP address, uh, the IP address of the PS4 and also the port. Uh, you can just uh, write them down or just take uh, a photo uh, because we need them. Now you need to go to the uh, Google Play Store and search for FTP client and then install uh, the first app which is end FTP, your FTP client. So install this one and then open it. Okay, now we're going to click on this little plus icon and fill up the hostname section with the IP address of the PS4. So type the PS4's IP address here and down here in the port we're going to type 2121. You can clearly see there under the uh, gold hand enable FTP server section. That's the port which is 2121. So those are all the settings that we're going to type in here. Uh, we're going to come back to type something but for now there's nothing to worry about. Those are all the settings. Just click on save. I mean tap and then tap OK then tap OK again, and here it is, the FTP uh, server. Just a quick note, uh, the FTP server is on, so you can see that this icon is bluish. If it's not on, if there's some sort of an error or it's not working, this little icon here is gonna be uh, completely white, okay? So now we have it set up, just tap on the uh, icon of FTP, and we did not set a username or even a password, so don't worry about this, just click Tap, tap, okay. And there you have it. Here's the PS4's uh, directory. The PS4's files are here on your phone. Now uh, I'm gonna go ahead and back up a game uh, by going to the user folder and then app. Now, if you remember, we've just turned on the uh, game's ID from the Orbis Toolbox setting, so I can clearly see the ID of the game that I want to back up. Uh, in this case, it's this one right here, 20601. So I'm just going to go to the folder that says 20601. Just open it, and now I can clearly see the package in here, which is app.package. Tap on it uh, until you see that uh, uh, green check mark. And simply tap on this download button here and now select OK. The download should start. So uh, the game is now being backed up to my Android phone. All right, the download has been completed and the game is now backed up to my phone. But let's just go ahead and check if it's really there and if it's really backed up by tapping on this uh, uh, phone button that we see here. Now we're going to scroll down. Scroll down and there it is. That's the app package. I'm just going to tab on it, then go and see the details. 
should be 300 megabytes and there it is 314 megabytes this is the package that we just backed up on our phone so it's here and i can install it and send it back to the ps4 anytime i want now let's assume you want to send it back to your ps4 and uh, you want to install it again on your ps4 to do that we need to go back to the settings now press and hold on this uh, ftp button until we get the uh, this menu here then tap on edit and now we're going to go down to the uh, remote directory and simply type user slash forward because we're going to be copying the package back to the ps4's user uh, folder now we're done here simply tap on save tap okay and now tap on it once more tap okay and we're back here now go to the phone's storage by tabbing on the uh, phone icon up there and we're going to scroll down to the package tap on it to select it and now you can clearly see this uh, upload button up there just tap on it and here is going to tell you that this file this package is going to be copied to the uh, user folder like we set it up there so simply tap ok again and the upload should start once the uh, upload is completed uh, we're going to need to go back to the ps4 and uh, uh, i'm just going to go ahead and remove the game um, just going to delete it because i'm going to be installing the new package that i just sent from the android phone now i'm just going to go to the ps4 explorer homebrew app and we're going to scroll down to the uh, user folder because that's where we copied the package just, just go to user and now we're going to scroll down till we find the app package and there it is now press x to show the info and to install it we're going to have to press x one more time okay you should get a, a notification and the game will be added to the dashboard as you can see uh, it's being installed so i'm just going to go to the notifications i like to see it being installed here all right mission successful we just backed up a package to android and then we sent it back from the android and now we installed it and uh, it's working uh the game's name will always be app package but you can uh, you can choose to rename it if you have like another package that you want to send from the android phone you first have to rename this app package that you backed up that you sent back to the ps4 by pressing on the triangle button and then you just go ahead and rename it uh, because if you just try to send another app package it's just gonna overwrite it and uh, you're not gonna have both games uh, sent to the ps4 so make sure that you rename uh, every game that you sent okay now let's take a look at uh, a much simpler way to back up your games packages to uh, a usb drive but the first thing that you have to know is that if you have a usb 2.0 the copying will be uh, really slow and you're going to be waiting a long time however if you have a usb 3.0 the copying will be uh, much faster and you're not going to be waiting a long time anyway uh, the first thing that you have to do first is of course you need to uh, plug in a usb flush drive to your ps4 next uh, we're gonna need to go to the uh, web browser and uh, we're gonna type k m e ps4 dot site slash forward index and then dot html and then you need to uh, click on full manual chameleon now uh, you may get uh, a frozen uh, caching percentage uh, the website will start caching itself and then it will kind of freeze at 40 percent maybe uh, maybe this will happen to you maybe it will not but if it does all you have to do is just go back with the circle button and then choose the same option again so you're gonna go back here you're gonna see 40 percent 
you're gonna tap on it again and it will start caching and uh, the percentage will uh, continue it will not stay frozen so uh, if it stays frozen go back and forth go back and forth until uh, the website is fully cached once the website has been fully cached just go and click on the pkg backup uh, payload you should get a notification pkg backup mod by chameleon there is no config file so it's going to use the default settings and now we just need to go and launch the game that we want to back up okay we should get a notification there it is process has begun all right uh, we can close the game we don't have to keep it open you can close the game uh, we don't have to keep it open so i'm just going to go ahead and close the game and we're going to just let it be backed up to the uh, USB drive. So this will also back up uh, your base game, uh, the updates that you have installed uh, on this game, and also any DLCs. So this will back up everything. Uh, you don't have to worry about anything. It's going to back them all up as packages. Game, uh, base game packages, and then the update packages, and then the DLCs packages, they're all going to be backed up to uh, your uh, USB drive. The process is done, and uh, the game has been backed up to uh, the USB drive. So let's go out and check if it's really backed up to uh, the USB drive by launching the PS4 Explorer Homebrew app. And then we're going to uh, press on the left D-pad uh, on the controller to go to the uh, USB drive. And as you can see, uh, it's down here. 20601 we're going to go and open it and there it is that's the app package uh, we're going to just click on it to see the info there you have it the game is here on the uh, usb drive we can just go ahead and remove it from the ps4 and uh, install it later if we will if we want to so that's it for this video uh, i hope this was helpful to you uh, leave a comment down below if uh, both methods worked for you or if any of the methods have worked for you if you enjoyed this video and it was helpful to you make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to uh, get uh, new tutorials in the future that's it take care see you soon